Portland is the most populous city in the U.S. state of Maine, with a population of 67,067 as of 2017. The Greater Portland metropolitan area is home to over half a million people, more than one-third of Maine's total population, making it the most populous metro in northern New England an area comprising the states of Maine, New Hampshire, and Vermont. Portland is Maine's economic center, with an economy that relies on the service sector and tourism. The Old Port District is a popular destination known for its 19th-century architecture and nightlife. Marine industry still plays an important role in the city's economy, with an active waterfront that supports fishing and commercial shipping. The Port of Portland is the largest tonnage seaport in New England. The city has also seen growth in the technology sector, with companies such as Wex building headquarters in the city. The city seal depicts a phoenix rising from ashes, which is a reference to the recoveries from four devastating fires. Portland was named after the English Isle of Portland, Dorset. The city of Portland, Oregon was named after Portland, Maine. History Native Americans originally called the Portland Peninsula Macagun, Great Neck. Portland was named for the English Isle of Portland, and the city of Portland, Oregon, was in turn named for Portland, Maine. The first European settler was capped. Christopher Levitt, an English naval captain granted 6,000 acres 2, hectares in 1623 to found a settlement in Casco Bay. A member of the Council for New England and agent for Ferdinando Gorgas, Levitt built a stone house where he left a company of ten men, then returned to England to write a book about his voyage to bolster support for the settlement. Ultimately, the settlement was a failure and the fate of Levitt's colonists is unknown. The explorer sailed from England to the Massachusetts Bay Colony to meet John Winthrop in 1630, but never returned to Maine. Fort Levitt in the harbor is named for him. The peninsula was first permanently settled in 1632 as a fishing and trading village named Casco. When the Massachusetts Bay Colony took over Casco Bay in 1658, the town's name changed again to Falmouth. In 1676, the village was destroyed by the Abenaki during King Philip's War. It was rebuilt. During King William's War, a raiding party of French and their native allies attacked and largely destroyed it again in the Battle of Fort Loyal 1690. On October 18, 1775, Falmouth was burned in the Revolution by the Royal Navy under command of Captain Henry Mowat. Following the war, a section of Falmouth called the Neck developed as a commercial port and began to grow rapidly as a shipping centre. In 1786, the citizens of Falmouth formed a separate town in Falmouth Neck and named it Portland, after the isle off the coast of Dorset, England. Portland's economy was greatly stressed by the Embargo Act of 1807 prohibition of trade with the British, which ended in 1809, and the War of 1812, which ended in 1815. In 1820, Maine became a state with Portland as its capital. In 1832, the capital was moved north to Augusta. In 1851, Maine led the nation by passing the first state law prohibiting the sale of alcohol except for medicinal, mechanical or manufacturing purposes. The law subsequently became known as the Maine Law, as 18 states quickly followed. On June 2, 1855, the Portland Rum Riot occurred. In 1853, upon completion of the Grand Trunk Railway to Montreal, Portland became the primary ice-free winter seaport for Canadian exports. The Portland Company manufactured more than 600 19th-century steam locomotives. Portland became a 20th-century rail hub as five additional rail lines merged into Portland Terminal Company in 1911. Following nationalization of the Grand Trunk System in 1923, Canadian export traffic was diverted from Portland to Halifax, Nova Scotia, resulting in marked local economic decline. In the 20th century, icebreakers later enabled ships to reach Montreal in winter, drastically reducing Portland's role as a winter port for Canada. On June 26, 1863, a Confederate raiding party led by Captain Charles Reed entered the harbour at Portland and the Battle of Portland Harbour ensued, one of the northernmost battles of the Civil War. The 1866 Great Fire of Portland, Maine, on July 4, 1866, ignited during the Independence Day celebration, destroyed most of the commercial buildings in the city, half the churches and hundreds of homes. More than 10,000 people were left homeless. 
By act of the Maine Legislature in 1899, Portland annexed the city of Deering, despite a vote by Deering residents rejecting the annexation, thereby greatly increasing the size of the city and opening areas for development beyond the peninsula. The construction of the Main Mall, an indoor shopping center established in the suburb of South Portland, during the 1970s, economically depressed downtown Portland. The trend reversed when tourists and new businesses started revitalizing the old seaport, a part of which is known locally as the Old Port. Since the 1990s, the historically industrial Bayside neighborhood has seen rapid development, including attracting a Whole Foods and Trader Joe's supermarkets, as well as Baxter Academy, an increasingly popular charter school. Other rapidly developing neighborhoods include the India Street neighborhood near the Ocean Gateway and Munjoy Hill, where many modern condos have been built. The Maine College of Art has been a revitalizing force downtown, attracting students from around the country. The historic Porteous building on Congress Street was restored by the college. Geography <laughs> 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 According to the United States Census Bureau, the city has a total area of 69.44 square miles, 179.85 square kilometers, of which 21.31 square miles, 55.19 square kilometers is land and 48.13 square miles, 124.66 square kilometers is water. Portland is situated on a peninsula in Casco Bay on the Gulf of Maine and the Atlantic Ocean. Portland borders South Portland, Westbrook and Falmouth. The city is located at 43.66713 n, 70.20717 w. Climate Portland has a humid continental climate Copen, DFB, with cold, snowy, and often prolonged winters, and warm, occasionally almost hot, summers. The monthly average high temperature range from roughly 30 degrees Fahrenheit in January to around 80 degrees Fahrenheit in July. Daily high temperatures reach or exceed 90 degrees Fahrenheit 32 degrees Celsius on only four days per year on average, while cold season lows of 0 degrees Fahrenheit minus 18 degrees Celsius or below are reached on eight nights per year on average. The area can be affected by severe nor'easters during winter, with high winds and snowfall totals often measured in feet. Annual precipitation averages 47.2 inches millimeters and is plentiful year-round, but with a slightly drier summer, snowfall averages 61.9 inches centimeters. In coastal Maine, winter-season mid-latitude snowstorms can be intense from November to March, while warm-season thunderstorms are markedly less frequent than in the Midwestern, Mid-Atlantic, and Southeastern U.S. direct strikes by hurricanes or tropical storms are rare, partially due to the normally cooler Atlantic waters off the Maine coast which usually weaken tropical systems, but primarily because most tropical systems approaching or reaching 40 degrees north latitude recurve Coriolis effect, carrying most such storms well south and east of the Portland area. Extreme temperatures range from minus 39 degrees Fahrenheit minus 39 degrees Celsius on February 16, 1943, to 103 degrees Fahrenheit 39 degrees Celsius on July 4, 1911, and August 2, 1975. Neighborhoods <inaudible> 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 Portland is organized into neighborhoods generally recognized by residents, but they have no legal or political authority. In many cases, city signs identify neighborhoods or intersections, which are often called corners. Most city neighborhoods have a local association which usually maintains ongoing relations of varying degrees with the city government on issues affecting the neighborhood. On March 8, 1899, Portland annexed the neighboring city of Deering. Deering neighborhoods now comprise the northern and eastern sections of the city before the merger. Portland's Deering High School was formerly the public high school for Deering. 
Portland's neighborhoods include the Arts District, Bayside, Bradley's Corner, Cushing's Island, Deering Center, Deering Highlands, Downtown, East Deering, East Bayside, East End, Eastern Cemetery, Great Diamond Island, Highlands, Kennedy Park, Libbytown, Little Diamond Island, Lunt's Corner, Morrill's Corner, Munjoy Hill, Nason's Corner, North Deering, Oakdale, The Old Port, Parkside, Peaks Island, Riverton Park, Rosemont, Stroudwater, West End, and Woodford's Corner. Demographics Topic twenty ten census As of the census of 2010, there were 66,194 people, 30,725 households, and 13,324 families residing in the city. The population density was 3,106.2 inhabitants per square mile 1,199.3 per square kilometers. There were 33,836 housing units at an average density of 1,587.8 per square miles .1 per square kilometers. The racial makeup of the city was 85.0% white 83.6% non-Hispanic white alone, down from 96.6% in 1990, 7.1% African American, 0.5% Native American, 3.5% Asian, 1.2% from other races, and 2.7% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 3.0% of the population. 40.7% of the population had a bachelor's degree or higher. Men's Health ranked Portland the ninth most educated city in America. There were 30,725 households, of which 20.7% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 29.7% were married couples living together, 10.1% had a female householder with no husband present, 3.6% had a male householder with no wife present, and 56.6% were non families. 40.5% of all households were made up of individuals, and 11.5% 4% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.07 and the average family size was 2.88. The median age in the city was 36.7 years, 17.1% of residents were under the age of 18, 11.4% were between the ages of 18 and 24, 33.1% were from 25 to 44. 25.9% were from 45 to 64, and 12.6% were 65 years of age or older. The gender makeup of the city was 48.8% male and 51.2% female. <laughs> 2000 census As of the census of 2000, there were 64,250 people, 29,714 households, and 13,549 families residing in the city. The population density was 3,029.2 people per square mile 1,169.6 per square kilometers. There were 31,862 housing units at an average density of 1,502.2 per square miles 580.0 per square kilometers. According to the U.S. Census Bureau, Portland's immediate metropolitan area ranked 147th in the nation in 2000 with a population of 243,537, while the Portland, South Portland, Bidford metropolitan area included 487,568 total inhabitants. This has increased to an estimated 513,102 inhabitants and the largest metro area in northern New England as of 2007. Much of this increase in population has been due to growth in the city's southern and western suburbs. The racial makeup of the city was 91.27% white, 2.59% African American, 0.47% Native American, 3.08% Asian, 0.06% Pacific Islander, 0.67% from other races, and 1.86% from two or more races. Hispanic or Latino of any race were 1.52% of the population. 
The largest ancestries include British including Scottish, Welsh, and English 21.2%, Irish 19.2%, French 10.8%, Italian 10.5%, and German 6.9%. There were 29,714 households out of which 21.4% had children under the age of 18 living with them, 32.1% were married couples living together, 10.5% had a female householder with no husband present, and 50 54.4% were non-families, 40.1% of all households were made up of individuals and 11.5% had someone living alone who was 65 years of age or older. The average household size was 2.08 and the average family size was 2.89. In the city, the population was spread out with 18.8% under the age of 18, 10.7% from 18 to 24, 36.1% from 25 to 44, 20.6% from 45 to 64, and 13.9% who were 65 years of age or older. The median age was 36 years. For every 100 females, there were 91.8 males. For every 100 females age 18 and over, there were 89.0 males. The median income for a household in the city was $35,650, and the median income for a family was $48,763. Males had a median income of $31,828 versus $27,173 for females. The per capita income for the city was $22,698. About 9.7% of families and 14.1% of the population were below the poverty line, including 12.5% of those under age 18 and 11.9% of those age 65 or over. Race, ethnicity composition Topic economy Portland has become Maine's economic capital because the city has Maine's largest port, largest population, and is close to Boston 105 miles to the south. Over the years, the local economy has shifted from fishing, manufacturing, and agriculture towards a more service-based economy. Most national financial services organizations such as Bank of America and Key Bank base their main operations in Portland. Unum, True Choice Federal Credit Union, Maine Bank and Trust, Immucel Corp., and Pioneer Telephone have headquarters here, and Portland's neighboring cities of South Portland, Westbrook and Scarborough, provide homes for other corporations including IDEXX and Wex Inc. Since 1867, Burnham & Morrill Co., maker of B&M Baked Beans, has had its main plant in Portland and is considered a landmark. The city's port is also undergoing a revival and the first ever container train departed from the new International Marine Terminal with 15 containers of locally produced bottled water in early 2016. Americold, a U.S.-based international provider of temperature-controlled storage and distribution, won a bid to develop a state-of-the-art temperature-controlled storage facility adjacent to the port. The facility will support perishable produce, meats, and seafood imports with direct exports but construction has not yet begun. Portland has a low unemployment rate 3% in June 2017 when compared to national and state averages. The city and its adjacent communities also have higher median incomes than most of the state. Culture. Topic sites of interest The Arts District, centered on Congress Street, is home to the Portland Museum of Art, Portland Stage Company, Maine Historical Society and Museum, Portland Public Library, Maine College of Art, Children's Museum of Maine, Space Gallery, Merrill Auditorium, the Kochmar Memorial Organ, and Portland Symphony Orchestra, as well as many smaller art galleries and studios. Baxter Boulevard around Back Cove, Deering Oaks Park, the Eastern Promenade, Western Promenade, Lincoln Park and Riverton Park are all historical parks within the city. Other parks and natural spaces include Payson Park, Post Office Park, Baxter Woods, Evergreen Cemetery, Western Cemetery and the Four River Sanctuary. Thompson's Point, in the Libbytown neighborhood, has been a focus of renovation and redevelopment during the 2010s. The location hosts a concert venue, ice rink, hotels, restaurants, wineries, and breweries. Other sites of interest include Casco Bay Islands Cross Insurance Arena East and Beach Exchange Street, the Old Port Area, Hadlick Field, home of the Portland Sea Dogs Longfellow Arboretum Neil S. Dow House, Maine Narrow Gauge Railroad Museum, Martins Point, 
McClellan Sweat Mansion The Portland Club Portland Financial District Portland Headlight Lighthouse Portland Observatory Portland Stage Company University of New England University of Southern Maine USM Victoria Mansion Wadsworth Longfellow House Topic Public Parks The city of Portland includes more than 700 acres of open space and public parks. The city and surrounding communities are linked by 70 miles of trails, both urban and wooded, maintained by the non-profit Portland Trails. The city requires organic land care techniques be used on both public and private property. In 2018, the Portland City Council banned the use of synthetic pesticides. Well-known and historic parks include Deering Oaks Park, Eastern Promenade Western Promenade Baxter Boulevard Lincoln Park Congress Square Park Payson Park East End Beach Riverside Golf Course Fort Sumner Park Baxter Woods Four River Sanctuary Quarry Run Dog Park Riverton Trolley Park Topic notable buildings The spire of the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception has been a notable feature of the Portland skyline since its completion in 1854. In 1859, Ami B. Young designed the Marine Hospital, the first of three local works by supervising architects of the U.S. Treasury Department. Although the city lost to redevelopment its 1867 Greek Revival Post Office, which was designed by Alfred B. Mullet of White Vermont Marble and featured a Corinthian portico, Portland retains his equally monumental 1872 granite Second Empire Renaissance Revival Custom House. A more recent building of note is Franklin Towers, a 16-story residential tower completed in 1969. At 175 feet 53 meters, it is Portland's as well as Maine's tallest building. It is next to the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception on the city skyline. During the building boom of the 1980s, several new buildings rose on the peninsula, including the 1983 Charles Shipman Payson Building by Henry N. Cobb of Pay, Cobb, Freed and Partners at the Portland Museum of Art Complex a component of which is the 1801 McClellan Sweat Mansion, and the Back Bay Tower, a 15-story residential building completed in 1990.477 Congress Street known locally as the Time and Temperature Building is situated near Monument Square in the Arts District. District and as a major landmark, the 14-story building features a large electronic sign on its roof that flashes time and temperature data, as well as parking ban information in the winter. The sign can be seen from nearly all of downtown Portland. The building is home to several radio stations. The Eastland Park Hotel, completed in 1927, is a prominent hotel located downtown on High Street. Photographer Todd Webb lived in Portland during his later years and took many pictures of the city. Some of Webb's pictures can be found at the Evans Gallery. Topic: Notable people. Topic: Media. Portland is home to a concentration of publishing and broadcast companies, advertising agencies, web designers, commercial photography studios, and filmmakers. The city is home to two daily newspapers, the Portland Press Herald, Maine Sunday Telegram founded in 1862, and the Portland Daily Sun. The Press Herald is published Monday through Saturday and the Maine Sunday Telegram is published on Sundays. Both are published by Maine Today Media Inc., which also operates an entertainment website, maintoday.com and owns papers in Augusta, Waterville, and Bath. The Daily Sun began operations in 2009 and is owned by the Conway Daily Sun of North Conway, New Hampshire. Portland is also covered by an alternative weekly newspaper, The Portland Phoenix, published by the Phoenix Media – Communications Group, which also produces a New England-wide news, arts, and entertainment website, thephoenix.com, and a twice-annual LGBT issues magazine, out in Maine. Other publications include The Portland Forecaster, a weekly newspaper, The Bollard, a monthly alternative magazine, The West End News, The Munjoy Hill Observer, The Baysider, The Waterfront, Portland Magazine, and The Companion, an LGBT publication. 
Portland is also the home office of The Exception magazine, an online newspaper that covers Maine. The Portland broadcast media market is the largest one in Maine in both radio and television. A whole host of radio stations are located in Portland, including WFNK Classic Hits, WJJB Sports, WTHT Country, WBQW Classical, WHXR Rock, Whom Adult Contemporary, WJBQ Top 40, WCLZ Adult Album Alternative, WBLM Classic Rock, WYNZ 60s to 70s Hits, and WCYY Modern Rock. WMPG is a local non-commercial radio station run by community members and the University of Southern Maine. The Maine Public Broadcasting Network's MPBN radio news operations are based in Portland. The area is served by local television stations representing most of the television networks. These stations include WCSH6 NBC, WMTW8 ABC, WGME13 CBS, WPFO23 Fox, WIPL35 Ion, and WPXT51 The CW, My Network TV on DT3. There is no PBS affiliate licensed to the city of Portland, but the market is served by MPBN outlets WCBB Channel 10 in Augusta and WMEA TV Channel 26 Bidford. Topic: Movies filmed in Portland. The Man Without a Face. Message in a Bottle. The Preacher's Wife. Thinner. Unfinished business. Topic: Sports. The city is home to three minor league teams. The Portland Sea Dogs, the Double A farm team of the Boston Red Sox, play at Hadlock Field. The Maine Red Claws, the NBA G League affiliate of the Boston Celtics, play at the Portland Exposition Building. The GPS Portland Phoenix soccer teams plays in USL League 2. Previously, Portland was home of several minor league ice hockey teams, the Maine Nordics NAHL from 1973 to 1977, the Maine Mariners all from 1977 to 1992, and the Portland Pirates all from 1993 to 2016. The Mariners were three-time Calder Cup winners. In 2018, Portland will get another Maine Mariners in the ECHL. The Maine Mammoths of the National Arena League will begin play in 2018. The Mammoths will be the first arena football team to call Portland home. The Portland Sports Complex, located off of Park and Brighton Avenues near I-295 and Deering Oaks Park, houses several of the city's stadiums and arenas, including Hadlock Field – Baseball – Capacity 7,368 Fitzpatrick Stadium – Football, Soccer, Lacrosse, Field Hockey, and Outdoor Track – Capacity 6,000 plus seated Portland Exposition Building – Basketball, Indoor Track, Concerts and Trade Shows – Capacity 3,000 Portland Ice Arena – Hockey and Figure Skating – Capacity 400 Cross Insurance Arena has 6,733 permanent seats following renovation in 2014. The Portland area has 11 professional golf courses, 124 tennis courts, and 95 playgrounds. There are also over 100 miles 160 kilometers of nature trails. Portland hosts the Maine Marathon each October. Bayside Bowl was expanded in 2017 to 20 lanes, including a rooftop deck. It hosted the 2017 PBA League and Elias Cup. Memorial Stadium is the home of the Deering High School sports teams and is located behind the school. Topic food and beverage Downtown Portland, including the Arts District and the Old Port, has a high concentration of eating and drinking establishments, with many more to be found throughout the rest of the peninsula, outlying neighborhoods, and neighboring communities. Portland ranks among the top U.S. cities in restaurants and bars per capita. According to the TripAdvisor, Portland is currently home to about 389 restaurants in 2017. Portland has developed a national reputation for the quality of its restaurants, eateries, and food culture. In 2009, Portland was named the foodiest small town in America by Bon Appetit magazine and was featured as a food destination in the New York Times. Many local chefs have gained national attention over the past few years. In 2018, Portland was named Restaurant City of the Year by Bon Appetit magazine. 
Portland is home to a number of microbreweries and brewpubs, including the D. L. Geary Brewing Company, Gritty McDuff's Brewing Company, Shipyard Brewing Company, Casco Bay Brewing Company, Bissell Brothers Brewery, Austin Street Brewery, and Allagash Brewing Company. The Portland Farmers Market, which has been in continuous operation since 1768, takes place Wednesdays in Monument Square, Saturdays in Deering Oaks Park from early May to the end of November, and Saturdays at the Maine Girls Academy from early December to the end of April. Fresh fish and seafood can be purchased at a number of markets on the wharves along Commercial Street and artisan bread makers bake fresh loaves every day. An historic B&M bean plant remains in operation on the waterfront. Portland's food culture is centered on local, organic, and plant-based food. The city has the state's greatest concentration of vegetarian, vegan, and vegetarian-friendly restaurants. In 2016, VegNews magazine added the city to its list of the 12 best towns for vegan living. The Portland Press Herald features a vegan column in its food and dining section. The city's Amato's Italian Delicatessen claims to be the birthplace of the Italian sandwich, called an Italian by locals. In 2015, Portland ranked 14th on Travel Plus Leisure's end of year list, America's 20 Best Cities for Beer Lovers. The area played host to an episode of Rachel Ray's Food Network show $40 a Day, the Travel Channel's Man v. Food, and Anthony Bourdain, No Reservations. In the spring of 2007, Portland was nominated as a finalist for Delicious Destination of the Year in the Food Network Awards. Portland hosts a number of food and beverage festivals, including Festival of Nations Greek Festival Harvest on the Harbor Italian Heritage Festival Maine Brewers Festival Maine VegFest Taste of the Nation Topic. Infrastructure Topic. Government The city has adopted a council manager style government that is detailed in the city charter. The citizens of Portland are represented by a nine member city council which makes policy, passes ordinances, approves appropriations, appoints the city manager, and oversees the municipal government. The City Council of nine members is elected by the citizens of Portland. The city has five voting districts, with each district electing a city councillor to represent their neighborhood interests for a three-year term. There are also four members of the city council who are elected at large. From 1923 until 2011, city councillors chose one of themselves each year to serve as mayor, a primarily ceremonial position. On November 2, 2010, Portland voters narrowly approved a measure that allowed them to elect the mayor. On November 8, 2011, former state senator and candidate for U.S. Congress Michael F. Brennan was elected as mayor. On December 5, 2011, he was sworn in as the first citizen elected mayor in 88 years see Portland, Maine mayoral election, 2011. The office of mayor is a four-year position that earns a salary of 150% of the city's median income. The current mayor is Ethan Strimling, who defeated Brennan in the 2015 election. A city manager is appointed by the city council. The city manager oversees the daily operations of the city government, appoints the heads of city departments, and prepares annual budgets. The city manager directs all city agencies and departments, and is responsible for the executing laws and policies passed by the city council. The current city manager is John Jennings. Aside from the main city council, there is also an elected school board for the Portland public school system. The school board is made up in the same manner of the city council, with five district members, four at-large members and one chairman. There are also three students from the local high schools elected to serve on the board. There are many other boards and committees such as the Planning Committee, Board of Appeals, and Harbor Commission, etc. These committees and boards have limited power in their respective areas of expertise. Members of boards and committees are appointed by city council members. On November 5, 2013, Portland voters overwhelmingly approved an ordinance to legalize the possession and private use of cannabis for adults, making the city the first municipality in the eastern United States to do so. Voter registration <laughs> Fire department 
The Portland Fire Department PFD provides fire protection and emergency medical services to the City of Portland 24-7, 365. Established on March 29, 1768, the PFD is made up of over 230 paid, professional firefighters and operates out of seven fire stations, located throughout the city, in addition to fire stations staffed by On Call. Firefighters on Peaks Island, Great Diamond Island, Cushing Island, and Cliff Island. The Portland Fire Department also operates an airport division station at 1001 Westbrook Street, at the Portland International Jetport, and a Marine Division station, located at 54 Commercial Street. The PFD operates a four platoon shift schedule. Each platoon works for 24 hours, followed by one day off. They then work another 24 hour shift, followed by five days off. The cycle then repeats. The Portland Fire Department also operates a fire apparatus fleet of five engine companies, four ladder companies including three quints, one rescue company, one hazardous materials hazmat unit, one confined space rescue unit, five ARF crash rescue units, three marine units fireboats, five MEDCU units ambulances, and numerous other special, support, and reserve units. Island. Call. Firefighters man a total of four engines, one ladder, four water tank units, and three MEDCU units ambulances. Each frontline fire company is staffed by one officer and two firefighters per shift. Each MEDCU unit ambulance is staffed by two firefighters one paramedic and one AEMT per shift. The Marine Division is staffed by one officer and two firefighters per shift, who also cross Staff Engine 37 in the event of a structural fire in the city not requiring a Marine unit. Each platoon has an on-duty Deputy Chief, Car 32, who is responsible for day-to-day -day operations of the shift. The firefighters are members of IAFF Local 740. Education. <inaudible> <inaudible> Topic High Schools Baxter Academy for Technology and Science Charter Casco Bay High School Public Expeditionary Chevrous High School Private Deering High School Public Portland Arts and Technology High School Public Vocational Portland High School Public Waynefleet School Private Topic Colleges and Universities Maine College of Art University of Maine School of Law University of New England formerly Westbrook College University of Southern Maine Topic Hospitals Maine Medical Center is the state's only level 1 trauma center and is the largest hospital in Maine Mercy Hospital a faith-based institution is the fourth largest in the state it completed the first phase of its new campus along the Four River in 2008. The formerly independent Brighton Medical Center, once known as the Osteopathic Hospital, is now owned by Maine Medical Center and is operated as a minor care center under the names Brighton First Care and New England Rehab. In 2010, Maine Medical Center's Hannaford Center for Safety, Innovation, and Simulation opened at the Brighton campus. The former Portland General Hospital is now home to the Barron Center Nursing Facility. Transportation Topic: Roads Portland is accessible from I-95 the main turnpike, I-295, and US-1. US Route 302, a major travel route and scenic highway between Maine and Vermont, has its eastern terminus in Portland. State routes include SR9, SR22, SR25, SR26, SR77, and SR100. State Route 25 business goes through southwestern Portland. Topic: <laughs> Intercity buses and trains. Amtrak's Downeaster service offers five daily trains connecting the city with eight towns and cities to the south, ending at Boston's North Station. Three of those trains also go north to Freeport and Brunswick. Concord Coach Lines bus service connects Portland to 14 other communities in Maine as well as to Boston South Station and Logan Airport. 
Both the Downeaster and the Concord coach lines can be found at the Portland Transportation Center on Thompson's Point Road, in the Libbytown neighborhood. Greyhound Lines on St. John Street connects to 17 main communities and to more than 3,600 U.S. destinations. A car-sharing service provided by U-Haul Car Share is available. Both Uber and Lyft operate here. The city bus service is provided by Metro Greater Portland Transit District. Airports Commercial air service is available at the Portland International Jetport, located in Stroudwater, west of the city's downtown district. American, Southwest, JetBlue, Delta, and United Airlines service the airport. Direct flights are available to Atlanta, Baltimore, Charlotte, Chicago, Detroit, Philadelphia, New York, Newark, Sarasota, and Washington, D.C. Water transportation The Port of Portland is the second largest cruise and passenger destination in the state next to Bar Harbor and is served by the Ocean Gateway International Marine Passenger Terminal. Ferry service is available year-round to many destinations in Casco Bay. From 2006 to 2009, Bay Ferries operated a high-speed ferry called the Cat featuring a five-hour trip to Yarmouth, Nova Scotia, for summer passengers and cars. In years past the Scotia Prince Cruises trip took 11 hours. A proposal to replace the defunct Nova Scotia Ferry Service was rejected in 2013 by the province. From May 15, 2014, until October 2015, the cruise ship ferry Nova Star made daily trips to Yarmouth, Nova Scotia. Due to poor passenger numbers and financial problems, Nova Scotia selected Bay Ferries, the prior operator of the CAT, to operate the service starting in 2016, citing the company's experience and industry relationships. Nova Star officials pledged a smooth transition to the new operator. The Nova Star was later ordered seized by federal marshals for non-payment of bills. Bay Ferries announced on March 24, 2016, the charter of the former Hawaii superferry boat HST-2 from the U.S. Navy for the Portland Yarmouth service for two years. Bay Ferries signed a 10-year deal with Nova Scotia to run the ferry route, which will take about five and a half hours each way. They stated that the boat would be renamed the CAT and that service would begin around June 15, after refitting in South Carolina. There is still a dispute as to whether the ferry will be permitted to carry trucks, desired by Nova Scotia businesses but opposed by the city of Portland. The Casco Bay Lines operate several passenger ferries with dozens of trips every day year round to the major populated islands of Casco Bay. The service to Peaks Island also provides an auto ferry for most of its schedule. Honours <laughs> <laughs> Topic. Food and drink Winner, 2018 Restaurant City of the Year by Bon Appetit magazine. Ranked as Bon Appetit magazine's America's Foodiest Small Town, 2009. Ranked fourth on Sperling's Best Places list for America's Foodie Cities. Named Best American City for Food by The Daily Meal, April 2015. Named Number one city in U.S. for beer drinkers. By Personal Finance Technology Company, Smartasset, December 2015. Ranked first city in the world, April 2016, for craft beer by the largest independent travel publisher in the world, the Matador Network. Ranked number ten in the Veg News, 12 best towns for vegan living. Topic: <laughs> Lifestyle and travel. Ranked top city in America to spend the weekend with population under 90,000 by Thrillist.com, May 2018. Ranked 12th on Fromer's 2007 Top Travel Destinations. Named Best Adventure Town in the East by Outside Magazine. Topic Other. Ranked as Forbes Magazines. Top City for Empty Nesters, 2012. Top City for Empty Nesters, Kiplinger's, ranked first on Forbes.com. 
America's Most Livable Cities, 2009. Ranked 13th on Men's Health Magazine's list of America's 100 Most Car Crazed Cities. Ranked 20th on the list of Top 20 Best Small Cities for College Students by the American Institute for Economic Research. Named one of the coolest small cities in America by GQ magazine. Ranked as the third gayest city in the nation by UCLA's Williams Institute. Ranked third on Men's Journal's list, The Ten Best Places to Live Now, 2015. Ranked fifth on Jetsetter's list, America's Coolest Small Towns, 2015. <laughs> Sister cities Portland has four sister cities, as designated by Sister Cities International Arkhangelsk, Russia Cap Haitian, Haiti Mytilene, Greece Shinagawa, Tokyo, Japan See also Portland Main Portal List of mayors of Portland, Maine equals equals notes <laughs>